What's up guys? Happy holidays. Joe Kiribati here at the Ripman Kitchen. And today I'm going to show you a healthy appetizer, maybe even entree that you can bring to a holiday party this year. You can make it probably take you about 20 minutes. And it's going to include a great protein source, which is bacon. I mean, who doesn't love bacon? And uh, so you know, when you buy bacon, look for sodium, uh, low sodium, nitrate, and nitrite free. So it will reduce the damage. And you know, the, the saturated fat there is actually very good for the body. For all of the oils involved, we're going to be using coconut oil, which hooks better at higher heat than olive oil or any other oil, butter, or anything like that. And Brussels sprouts here, fresh organic Brussels sprouts, which are boiling away. So what, we're, what it's going to end up being is Brussels sprouts with bacon and a garlic saute. So what, I'm do, what I did first is cut off the bacon into small pieces. Once you cut off the bacon into small pieces, you're going to put it onto the stove, put a little bit of... Uh, coconut oil in there first to lubricate the pan and then just turn it onto a moderate heat and just let it get crispy. You got to have it crispy for this and that's what's cooking right now. Then what I did was put the Brussels sprouts on the stove top to boil them to get them nice and tender. So they're boiling right now and to add a little flavor it also reduces the smell because Brussels sprouts smell like shit when you're cooking. They're delicious but they smell like shit. So I added in some garlic. So that's twofold. Number one. Garlic cloves are in here giving it flavor so that the, the heat and the steam is all marinating into the Brussels sprouts but also reducing the smell. That's happening. And then um, I got more garlic that we're going to be adding in to the final, final phase. And the final phase is going to be sautéing both of them together. So, Alright, so before we sauté everything together, we're going to drain the grease, well as much grease as we can from the bacon. It's just putting it onto a plate with paper towels under it, paper towels over it to absorb all the excess grease. And then we're going to add it all together. And before I uh, break with that, I'm going to show you a quick tip what I use to do to get my garlic cloves free. Just put it under the, the knife here, hammer it down with your palm, and that's going to get the skin off of it so you just have the clove right here. And there we go. Alright, so we got the bacon off, absorbing all the well, the excess grease and fat off of it. Um, what you gotta do is flip it a few times so you can transfer the paper towels underneath are always gonna collect the most grease. So you replace those, put new ones on to sponge it more. All right, so let that work. Now have some coconut oil and garlic, big fat garlic cloves on the stove. Once that heats up together for a little bit, we're going to take the Brussels sprouts and transfer them over to the saute pan. These things are nice and tender, smells like garlic in there, even browning a little bit, which is good. And then uh, add the bacon and we'll be done. All right, so here we go. On the stove we have the garlic. I just added the Brussels sprouts. As you see, they're browning. The, they're going to have be full of flavor here. Last thing we're going to do is add the bacon. Once the bacon's added, mix them in together and just let them cook together for three to five minutes and then uh, that's your final piece right here and uh, like I said high protein good fiber overall low calorie considering the taste and the, and the fat you're getting from the bacon don't forget the saturated fats going to be good for you so there we go bring it to a holiday party be the coolest person there if you have a beautiful sweater like this might as well get festive and wear it and if you haven't already make sure to click on the link below so you can get daily motivation nutrition workout stuff on me. So click on the link below and I'll send you inside. Thanks for watching.